Joe back here with an update on the 2017 Chipson Les Paul. <laughs> Okay, so we've got, it's finally done, number one. Uh, took a few months, but we got the pickups drilled and put in every, all the electronics basically swapped out completely. Uh, Grover locking tuners. Uh, what else did I do? I swapped out the, uh, the truss rod cover. Um, the bridge came as, uh, it came with the guitar as I sent it along with the Stumac binding. Gibson pickup rings all parts knobs. Uh, I also put in uh, 500k CTS pots as well as uh, with the exception of the two push-pull alpha K pots uh, 500k as well um, in the tone positions. Uh, and I think that's it. Everything else is the same. It's the original um, switch cap or sorry uh, original switch that came with the guitar which works fine. Um, the frets needed no work whatsoever. They're actually done beautifully. Uh, the guitar plays like a dream, which is a first <laughs> for one of these guys. Um, the nut needed a touch of work, uh, just a little bit of uh, uh, slotting. That's pretty much it, just to bring the action down a little bit as it was a touch high. Um, other than that, no issues at all with the guitar. I originally put um, GFS Vintage 59 pickups uh, in in the guitar and did not like them. I lived with them for about probably two, three weeks and they just weren't happening. Um, I usually do like GFS pickups, but what I've noticed with these particular ones, if you buy the Quick Connect, they have this little Quick Connect uh, version of every pickup that they sell. And I noticed they do not sound good. Uh, they just make every pickup sound like shit <laughs> for some reason. Uh, but like the regular traditional wired pickups all still sound great. But for some reason, they only had the Quick Connects in stock. So that's, that's what I ordered for this guitar. Didn't like them. And I had a set of uh, Seymour Duncan's uh, JB and a 59. And I threw them in there. And they sound killer. So I'll just give you some uh, sound samples. Bridge pickup on high gain and I'm using a VIP1, a PV VIP Viper 1. So here's a high gain. So pretty meaty, you can still get that nice chunk. Great for leads. And I'm going to switch over to the neck pickup. Great. Um, I'm gonna switch to a clean. So bridge pickup. So your standard JB. Uh, I'll split that. Pop 
that back in, go into the middle position, both humbuckers. I'll split them both. Okay, we'll go up to the neck, split coil right now. Full humbucker. sounds killer. Um, I find this combination of pickup works really good with these chipsons and of course the Seymour Duncan JB and A59 can't go wrong. Uh, 500k CTS pots. Uh, this is a bridge from all parts or Stumac sorry Stumac bridge and Stumac binding. Uh, again no issues whatsoever this is the best chipson I've received so far and probably my last, as I just don't need any more guitars. I've got way too many. But anyway, there you have it. Uh, I'm going to take some close-up video later on and add it to the end of this. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Cheers. Hey, guys. So um, some of you might be asking yourselves, when these chipsons are now made so close to the real thing, how do you tell? if you're looking at a fake or a real Gibson. So, say you're in the market for a new Gibson Les Paul and the price seems a little too good. Uh, first things first, obviously uh, look at the back of the headstock. Real Gibsons have a three-piece headstock, so you'll usually see a line going that way and that way. They put these wings of wood on each side there. Okay, so that's a dead giveaway right away, and that's one thing that they're not doing on the Chipsons. Okay, so it's a one-piece neck, completely through and through. So there's no more scarf joints, and no more heel joints either, as you can see right there. That's a one piece of wood. It's also a one-piece mahogany body as well, um, with a real maple cap, an inch thick, um, which is pretty crazy. Uh, they've come quite far. Um, flip it over here. So yeah, I mean, uh, they're coming with these bridges now too from China. Uh, even though I sent my own, I could have got them to put one of their cheaper versions of those on. Um, what else? Uh, when I routed the pickups here, especially the neck, I brought it just a hair further away from the neck just to kind of have it as a little telltale sign that it's a fake. Um, not that I'm ever going to play this live or try and sell it. Um, this is mine for the keeping forever, basically. And uh, I'm not trying to pass it off as a real thing. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't be doing these videos on how they're fake. So, just to give you a little heads up in case you're in the market, not to get fooled out there by a fake. Because uh, they look pretty damn close now. They play great. There's no issues at all with this. This thing plays awesome. Um, I'd say the neck is a bit of a D-shape, uh, kind of a slim D-shape, not quite a 60s neck or a 50s rounded either. But that's it. Uh, they don't come with, uh, well, they might still, but they're not multiple piece bodies. So that's not one tell telltale sign that you might find uh, when looking at one to buy and uh, just to look out for. And then always the dead giveaway too. When you take off the truss rod cover, uh, there'll be an import style truss rod adjuster as opposed to the bullet that the, the Gibsons come with. So let me just show you one of my real Gibsons. Just to kind of show you what I'm talking about, that headstock. So here's my Gibson Les Paul Classic. So you'll see the wings on the sides of that headstock. So real Gibsons have those, Chipsons do not. So first thing that you want to look at is the back of the headstock. All right, hope that helps. See ya.